Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test newsletter signup forms using Cypress.js. So here I have an example newsletter form with an email address and name field. And if I enter in my details and click submit, it thanks me and sends an email to my email address. So if I open up Outlook now, I can see that my mail client has received a welcome message for my newsletter. It contains my name and a picture of this friendly dog. So how can we write an automated test for this process? Well, in this example, we're gonna use Cypress.js, which is an automated browser testing tool and JavaScript. We'll combine our test with the free disposable email account service called MailSlurp. Okay, so let's get started writing this test process. So firstly, we want to install and set up Cypress. Let's do that in our visual code. So I'm gonna open a terminal and in here I'll type npm install save dev Cypress. And I'll also add the mail SERP client that we will use to create email addresses. Okay, so that finished successfully. Now to scaffold our test, we can run mpx Cypress open. So this brings up the Cypress welcome screen that allows us to configure our tests and create some examples. So we're going to use end-to-end -end testing or E2E -E testing. This means we can load a real website in a browser and then make some assertions about it. So we'll click that. Then it says the configuration files it will create. We'll click continue and choose a browser. We'll just use Chrome here. Okay, and now it has opened our Chrome browser and presents us with some options. We can scaffold some example specs or create a new spec or test. Let's click that and let's give it a name, uh, newsletter. And here is the example. Let's say, okay, and run the spec. And we can see the test passes. So it just loads the Cypress documentation page and makes an assertion about the body. So now we need to design our real test. So in this example, we'll be using an application running at newsletter.mailslurp.biz. This is a dummy application that takes in an email address and name and then sends a welcome message to the email address. So the first step will be loading this website in Cypress. So I'm gonna go back to my code editor. Okay, so now if we open up the test we created, we can load our dummy application. So we'll write in here, uh, newsletter.mailslurp.biz. And then let's just wait. And we'll wait two minutes. So let's run this and just have a look at what we have. So in order to run this test, we can use the terminal and we can write npx cypress run. And then I'm gonna pass in the dash dash headed so that it opens in a browser. Let's run that now. Okay, we see the browser opening and it has loaded our newsletter page. And we can see on the left here, it is waiting. So this gives us some time to just inspect the page and see how we can fill out these, these elements. So we can see there is a input type email and an input type text. They have the IDs email, name, and a button with the ID submit. We can now modify the test to fill out these values. So we could say, get name and type a name value and get email and type an email address then we want to submit it and click it like that but how do we generate a name and an email address well for a name we can just define one like this name equals jack and for an email address we can use the mail slurp client that we installed earlier so to set this up, we can do the following. What we wanna do is type CY then, and we'll use this block to define our mail slurp client. In here, we can write const mail slurp equals new mail slurp. And we need to import the client as well. So we can say const mail slurp equals require mail slurp client dot default. Okay, and now in this uh, part here, we want to put our API key. So we'll go back to the mail sub dashboard and copy our API key and paste that there. Now we can wrap the mail slurp instance using cy.wrap, pass in mail slurp, and then say as mail slurp. 
Okay, so that means throughout the rest of our tests, we can refer to a mail slip instance using this. I'll show you how to do that next. So the next step is we want to define a disposable email address. So for this step, we're going to use mail slurp. And in order to access it, we need to use a function. So not an arrow function. We want to use the function keyword that allows us to access this. So this is something about Cypress where um, we can access this dot mail slurp like that and then say um, create inbox. And then we'll return that value. And in the next function, we can say that we receive the inbox and we will wrap the inbox. So we'll say cway wrap uh, inbox dot email address as email address and inbox dot id as inbox id. So we need to surround these with quotes. Now, in our next steps, we can actually refer to the email address and inbox ID um, to fill out the email and receive the email and then make confirmations about it. So let's change our step here, filling the form, and we'll use a function. Move these in there. And instead of email address, we can say this dot email address and name is still Jack, where we defined it earlier. After that, let's just wait. 1200 again to give us some time to look at the test. Okay, so why don't we run this and see what happens? Okay, so it just loaded the newsletter, submitted a new email address, and signed up using it. And it looks like it's worked. So let's close this now. Cancel that test. And let's just review what we achieved so far. So in our test, we can see that. Um, we are defining an instance of the MailSip client. This allows us to create disposable email addresses for free. We configured the client using our API key, and then we wrapped it here on this line using cy.wrap, and we defined it as MailSlurp. Then in the next step, using cy then and a function, we can access MailSlurp off the this object. And then we used it to create an inbox. So this is a disposable email address we can use in our next steps. We wrapped the returned value, uh, email address and inbox ID. And then in the next steps, we loaded the newsletter and we filled out the form with a name, email and clicked submit. Then we waited and that's what we saw. So this appears to be working. What we want to do now is make sure the email was actually sent to us. And we can do that. We can say cy then and use the function again. And we will return this.mailslurp.wait for latest email. So this is a great function in the MailSlurp client that allows us to wait for an email to arrive. And that's what we want to test in this Cypress test. We want to submit our email address and then receive an email. And we'll make some assertions about the body of the email as well. So here we can pass in this dot uh, inbox ID. We'll pass in a wait time. That's how long we can wait before an email arrives. And we'll return that. And in the next steps, we'll receive that email and we'll make some assertions about it. So here we can expect the body to contain our name. So we can write expect email.body to contain name. And if we refer back to the email we received in Outlook, we can see that it should say welcome Jack here. So we'll say welcome and then the name like that. Okay, let's run this and see if our assertion passes as well. Okay, the browser is loading. We can see that MailSlip has been configured. It created an email address. Now it's loading the newsletter page. Enter the email address and name, signed up for a newsletter. And now we're waiting for the email to arrive. And it arrived. And we have a test failure. Let's see what's wrong. Ah, the CY then timed out. Okay, this means we need to set a longer wait configuration in Cypress so we can wait for the email address to arrive. So let's go to the top of the page and just write cypress.config and write default command timeout and let's put in a long value like five minutes. Okay, and then let's run that again. 
Great, and our test passes now. That means that we have successfully signed up with a new email address, received that email, and made an expectation about the email body. This is a really useful test if you have a newsletter sign up form or something similar on your website and you want to know that it's really working. Okay, so last step. What if we want to actually open the email in Cypress and view it? Well, we can do that too, and I'll show you next. So at the last step here where we received the email, what we want to do is actually get the email preview URL, and we will load that in Cypress like a regular page. So in order to do this, we need to uh, wrap the email ID as, and we'll say email ID like that, and in the next steps, we want to call mail slurp and get the preview URLs. So here we can say return this dot mail slurp dot, and we're going to use the email controller, which gives us access to more methods. And we will say get email preview URLs. Now, in order to check that we have the right method here, we can go to the mail slurp documentation page. If we go to docs.mailserp.com, and here we can find the Cypress package and the JavaScript client. So in the JavaScript client, if we scroll down, we can find a link to the method documentation. In here, we can find all the controllers and methods. So in the email controller, we're looking for the get email preview URLs. And here it is. Okay, so it takes these parameters here. So I'm going to copy that method name. And the parameters are just the email ID. And it returns to us the email preview URLs object. And here it has an origin and a URL for the HTML body. Okay, so let's go back into our editor and we'll pass in the email ID as this.email ID like that. And then we can handle that. So the URLs are passed in like this. And now we want to open this URL in a Cypress window. Now, one important thing to know about Cypress is that by default, it can only load one top level domain. So in order to get around this, we need to use the CY origin method because our email will be hosted on a domain different from our newsletter. So don't worry, that's quite easy to do. All we have to do is use this CY origin example. And it is a special type of function where we need to pass in the arguments that are used within the callback. This is because it runs in a different browser context from our main test. Okay, so let's use the Cypress origin method. So we say origin and we'll say origin from the URLs object. And now we need to pass in some arguments. So we'll say args and we will pass in the uh, URLs and our name so that we can test against it. And then we can destructure that in the callback function. So we'll say, put this here and say URLs name like that. Now from within here, we can actually say uh, visit and we can visit the plain HTML body URL like that. Then we can make an assertion on the body. So we can say cy.get and this should contain welcome name like so. We'll make that contains and let's return from this. Now let's run our test and see what happens. Testing. Okay, the browser is opening. It's creating an inbox. And it's filling out the form, submitting it, waiting for the email to arrive now. And our test has passed. So that's it guys, a simple tutorial for how to open emails in Cypress.js. For all the code, check out github.com slash And like and subscribe below for more content. Thanks.